Hey, this is Brandon from Event Horizon Services. We are a custom wiring shop specializing in audio, video, and lighting. This is part two of wire types. In part one, we covered microphone, instrument, speaker, and unbalanced cables. In this part, we'll cover digital, coax, DMX, cat, and snake. Let's first look at digital AES EBU and DMX wire now. Digital audio cable for AES3 or AES EBU, commonly called AES, is very similar to mic cable. It is a twisted pair shielded cable and has a characteristic impedance of 110 ohms. Characteristic impedance is beyond the scope of this video, so look for future videos on that. Because it uses twisted pair in a balanced configuration, it can transmit data over long distances. It carries digital audio signal connecting gear or interfaces and normally carries two channels of audio. AES cables are normally found with XLR connectors, but can also have Euro connectors. DMX cables are identical to AES cables, except they should have 120 ohm characteristic impedance. Most of the time, AES wire is used for DMX lighting applications because it is within the tolerance of the DMX spec. You can use AES or DMX cable for analog audio, but you should not use analog cable for AES or DMX. On to coaxial cable. Coax cable is a general definition that essentially means one cable surrounded by its shield, like instrument cable and unbalanced cable. Generally, when people are talking about coax, they're referring to a cable for transmitting RF signals like video, antenna, digital audio, and more. This is the context we'll cover here. Coax cable, as I said, consists of a center conductor that is surrounded by a shield. They normally have multiple shields layered together. This is as much to keep the signal in as it is to keep the noise out. The common forms of these cables will have a characteristic impedance of 50 ohms or 75 ohms. Common applications include SPDIF, which is digital audio, SDI and HD SDI, which is digital video, composite video, component video, clock for audio converter syncing, cable TV, antennas, and more. These cables are commonly terminated with BNC connectors, F-type connectors, and RCA connectors. And now for CAT cables. I could talk about CAT or category cables for an hour, but I'll keep this really simple now. CAT cable is commonly called Ethernet cable or network cable and consists of CAT5, CAT5E, CAT6, CAT6A, and CAT7. And more to futurize this video, let's just say CAT8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. CAT cable in the basic form is normally four pair unshielded cable. So it has eight conductors in pairs of two, but it comes in many varieties, with shield and without shield, with spacers and without spacers, individually shielded and not individually shielded, and many more. The main thing to know is that normally the higher the number, the higher the bandwidth rating, meaning the higher the number, the more data it can transmit. So generally, if your application calls for CAT6, you should not use CAT5E. Normally these cables are terminated with RJ45 connections. Sometimes you will find applications where CAT cables will be carrying analog audio. It is a perfectly acceptable thing to do, especially if you pick one with the proper shielding. And finally, now let's look at snake cables. The last wire to look at is snake cables. I left it to last because it includes any of the previous cables in it. The basic definition of snake cable is a cable with multiple cables all built into one. The most common form of this is the audio snake, where it can have 2, 4, 8, 12, 16, 24, and more number of channels. In that audio snake, 
there are multiple mic cables or single pair shielded cables. Each cable is independent and can carry its own signal. Think of a 12 channel snake as taking 12 mic cables and taping them together to make one cable. Snakes come in many forms from containing all audio cables to all video cables to audio and video cables, video and Cat5 cables, speaker and audio cables, etc. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any comments, please leave them below or email us. Remember to like and share and look for upcoming videos. Thanks.